Hey guys, Damon Eddy and happy Valentine's Day and thank you for watching this video. Look, I wrote something this morning and I thought I'd just put it on video because I know some people will read uh, and then some will just watch video. So I wanted to get it out and I was thinking about Valentine's Day and, and really, if I think about it, I think it's kind of a silly day um, because I think every day in a relationship should be Valentine's Day. So I know that you, we hear that and stuff, but I was thinking of a good gift to give um, and what you could do. And, and really, guys, when I see marriages, I see so much of, of people not being fulfilled and, and getting what they need from their spouse. And I think a lot of it has to do with the, the spouse just doesn't know what specifically it is the other person needs. So I was thinking, I wrote this, uh, this little card right here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Probably can't. But what if you were to give your spouse a card that says change? And it says, from this day forward, I promise to begin to love you the way you need to be loved. If I do not know the way you need to be loved, I am going to find out today and begin to start loving you in that manner. What if you were to do that? What if today, instead of that, those flowers or that chocolate or that, um, you know, a little piece of jewelry that you got for $30 at, uh, you know, a store. What if you actually made a commitment to begin to love your spouse the way that they need to be loved. And if you don't know how, then find out. You know, you can go to that five love languages.com. You can take the test. It only takes 15, 20 minutes. But I think that would be the best thing. You know, you know, I wrote that, um, you know, let's say your wife's love language is quality time, but you've been giving her no time. Make the commitment today to give her the time. You know, let's say as a wife, uh, you know, your husband's uh, love language is, is kind words or words of affirmation. Quit, quit bitching about the socks on the floor and having that be the only thing that you say to him in a nice way. You know, let, let him know that from this day forward, you know, I'm going to say nice things to him throughout the day. I'm going to send him nice texts or nice uh, little calls and say kind words. You know, whatever it may be. Husbands, maybe your wife wants acts of service. Well, maybe from this Valentine's Day forward, you're going to commit to help her around the house when you come home, as opposed to sitting on the couch. You know, get your get your uh, recharging done before you come home. So when you come home, you can help and you can re-engage. So that's really what I was thinking, guys. Instead of the, the little flowers and the, the such the, the, the stuff that you give on Valentine's Day, really, guys, why don't you give them a better you? Give them a better you and, and start to love them the way that they need to be loved. And I can guarantee you, if you make that commitment, if you start to do it, it's going to be the best Valentine's Day that uh, your spouse has ever had. But you got to commit. You got to truly, truly mean it. And you got to know what to do. Know specifically how your wife needs to be loved, how your husband needs to be loved from you, and then do it. You know, I think so often as we try to change the other person, well, I'm going to do this if they do that. Man, make this be the Valentine's Day. You stop that game as well. And you truly start to love your spouse the way that she needs to be loved and make it the best, the best Valentine's uh, present you can give them. Thanks for watching.